I find Wilma's disappearance very strange, Trevor. Don't you find it strange? I don't find it strange. I try to get rid of her 50 times. And I'd be glad if she's gone, if she's really gone. But she didn't leave a note, she didn't call, no message, nothing. How do you think that makes Tim feel? Probably like dirt. But that's Wilma. She doesn't give two cents about anybody but herself. But she promised him she wouldn't What's leave What's a promise to Wilma? The only thing she gives a damn about is room and board. She'll mooch off you till the cows come home, unless, unless she comes up with a better deal, which this time, thank heaven, she has. Anchors away, my Yeah, boy. or Jane Anchors plotted away. to get rid no, of her. No, they're buddies now. That's what they said. I've seen it with my own eyes. Yeah, I tried to kick Wilma out last time. Jane stuck up for her, and, now, and she stayed. She said it was on account of Tim. Yeah, well, no matter how horrible a person Wilma is, she is still his grandmother, and she loves him, and he loves her. Love. You can call it love if you want to. Well, he calls it love. Yeah, we'll get over that. I mean, Tim needs a granny who cares more about money than, than people, like he needs another hole in his head. I still say Jane had something to do with no. it. No! I know it! What? What, Jane just it coughed up enough money to send Wilma on a trip around the world and then, what, pushed her off the boat deck? Will you face facts about this? Anybody who doesn't like Jane suddenly disappears. First Harold, and now Wilma. I could crawl on my hands and knees and beg Laurel to leave me in peace. <laughs> I'll appeal to her heart. I'll talk to her about motherhood. There's only one way. Good afternoon, Miss Cox. Hello, Palmer. Is Mr. Martin in? No. No, he's in a meeting. Then we're alone. We can talk. Well, you really shouldn't be here. I mean, people might be suspicious if they see us together. After all, Wilma's gone. Our secret's safe. Our problems are over. Well, that's where you're wrong. Our problems are far from over. He likes you. Nonsense. He's wagging his tail. Did you hear what I said? I said, shoot. Maybe you look or smell like his owner. You know, now that you mention it, there is something familiar about him. Hello, dog. Have we met? Did anything bad happen while she was here? Like what? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. You know, Julia's been a wreck since she came back to Wildwind. She's been having nightmares. She wakes up screaming. Did she have nightmares while she was here? Everybody has nightmares. I think something happened. Something horrible, something she doesn't want to talk about. And I thought if you knew what it was, you could tell me and then I could help her. How? By talking, listening, being a friend. How many times have you been down in this part of town? Plenty. You think you're tough? I like to help people. You're lying. Julie is my friend. You're lying. <laughs> Are you gonna give me a straight up or what? I told you. What you told me wouldn't have fooled a moron. Okay. Julia and I aren't the best of friends. But my intentions are good. I want to help. Help who? You? And Julia. So why don't you be straight with me? You two slept together, right? What kind of question is that? Of course you did. You don't exactly look like the kind of guy who turns it down. Why else did you let somebody like her share this tiny little space with you? Somebody like her? Obviously you don't mind sharing it all, do you, Noah? No, what's that supposed to mean? I guess you don't know. Julia's already set her sights on someone else. A new man. My man. That's why I'm here. I'm no expert about these things. But I know that when you love someone, it takes a long time to get over them. It's too soon to think about someone else. I may not be 100% sure of a lot of things right now, but one thing I'm sure of, I know how I feel when I'm around you. You're just saying that. And I know how I felt when you were gone. Relieved? 
Nobody was relieved. We all missed you, especially me. I miss looking at you because you're beautiful, and I miss talking to you because you're funny and truthful. I like that. I can't help it. I like you, Julia, a lot. I don't want to talk about when I was gone. All right, let's talk about that kiss. We said everything there is to say. No, you haven't admitted it meant something yet. Because I said it was nice. It was more than that. Okay, well, maybe I put a little extra effort into it for Kendall's benefit. Well, there's only one sure way to find out. Elijah Wood and Kevin Costner in the story of a brother, a sister, and the father who was their hero. The War, rated PG-13, starts Friday, November 4th. When I first thought I was pregnant, we wanted to know for sure. I used first response. No cuff. Just hold the tester in your urine stream. White you're not pregnant, pink you are. It's so easy. So accurate. Trust your first response. Betty Crocker knows how to make guys melt. New Cheddar Classics Potatoes. Four brand new ways that Betty makes one hot potato. Now there's a new Lever 2000 that makes skin feel even softer, smoother, even healthier. Touch it and see. Touch those velvety elbows, those silken knees. Touch those heels, those cheeks. Touch. <laughs> Not there, please. New Lever 2000 has even more moisturizer than before, so it won't dry your skin like the leading deodorant soap. New Lever 2000. It's best for your skin and all your 2000 touchable parts. For us, barbecuing is more like an event than a meal. It's the outdoorsy thing, the smoke, the sizzle. <laughs> Whatever it is, the kids love it. So we found this play school toy called the Magic Smoking Grill. It really smokes. It makes great sizzle sounds. Whoa, smoking! Who wants a hot dog? There's lots of stuff to barbecue. And you can get extra sets for shish kebabbing and picnics. Whoa! And everything comes out just right. I can burn them like Daddy does. Some toys are better than the real thing. Please give me the gun. On the brink of insanity. Curtis, I'm your mother. Shut up! Will Curtis make a tragic mistake? Why not? Facts is your thoughts about Curtis and Gilbert at ABC Times 2. We may read your facts on the air. All told, you are to supply. Facts has become property of ABC. I just want you to stay away from me. Todd has the means and the motive. But is the evidence circumstantial? What kind of trouble were you in tonight? Manning, you're under arrest for the attempted rape of Rebecca Lewis. One life to live here on ABC Daytime.